Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Um, you can see on my right, I've got my new Sphero ball. Um, and on the left, I've got my iPad. And we're going to use uh, Macro Lab today. So we're going to use the bottom one down here. We're going to use Macro Lab to do some basic commands. Now, I think this would be really beneficial for things like um, degrees and angles and things for kind of years, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds, that sort of thing. So when we start here, we've got our, our macros and we're actually going to create a new one by pressing the, the little plus button down the bottom. And let's call this, um, let's call this uh, Sphero. And we're going to attempt to do some basic movements here um, and really explore some angles. So we're going to press the plus again down the bottom and we're going to start with a roll. Okay, so if I could just explain this, we've got speed. I'm going to drop that down a little bit. Now, you'll find the speed by just playing with it. I'm going to go down to 20. You can also press on the actual uh, increment there, the actual dimension there. Um, the heading is the direction. I'm going to leave that um, at zero to see what direction it actually goes at. Um, and then I'm going to put my delay to make that, um, this is the time it takes before the next command takes place. So I'm going to leave that at 1,000. I'm going to press Create. And what I'm actually going to do is press play because I think it's really good to get our kids um, with coding and doing different things like this to actually test. So I'm going to press the little play down the bottom here and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a basic movement there, which is really, really good. Um, I'm really happy that we've got some direction happening there. Now we can delete that by pressing edit if we need to, um, but I'm going to keep going here. Let's add another command. So why don't we bring in another roll? Um, oh, let's go back, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's create a roll. This time, let's click on our um, direction and make it go 90 degrees. I'm going to keep my speed consistent at 25 and keep my delay consistent there. So if I actually press create there, now I've got two blocks and you can see what I'm trying to do here. I've got a little bit of a, a direction that I actually want to play with. So I'll press play. Let's have a look on the right and see what my Sphero does goes across and then makes a little right turn. So what I'm going to do is put my Sphero back to where it started. And I'm going to keep going here by adding some more commands. So let's add another one. Now this is going to be great for our kids exploring um, different degrees. So this time, um, let's keep the cons uh, speed is consistent. Um, this time with our degrees, let's make it 180. So we're actually um, going to attempt to make this kind of like a square um, and press create. And we're going to do one more. So let's go plus, roll, drop it down to 25. Uh, make our degrees 270 because we were running it to do the whole 360 and keep our delay. Um, uh, this is the time it takes before it goes to the next command. So I'm going to press create and let's have a little bit of a look and see if we've got a kind of a square happening um, with our Sphero robot. Down, cross, cross and back to the start. That's fantastic. I'm really, really happy with what I've created there. Really basic. We're looking at degrees. We're looking at rotations. Um, and we're going to introduce one more thing before we finish up this introductory lesson, and that is we're going to create a little loop. So if we go down here, you can actually see there that there is something called loop start. Let me highlight. It says loop start there. If I bring that in and say I want that loop two times and press create, it automatically goes at the end of my sequential um, code there. So I'm going to press edit, and on the right-hand side, just drag that up to the top, Press done and create one more um, little sequence, which is loop end. Okay, press create. I can leave that at the bottom. So hopefully when I press play down the bottom now, um, my Sphero will do that little sequence of events, but we'll do it twice. So let's see if I'm successful. Press play. Okay, it's moved once. Got a nice little square happening there and it's done it a second time. So I could actually loop that as many times as I want. So that's a really, really quick start to the Sphero robot. I'm really impressed with it. Um, we're gonna explore some of the other commands and also look at more educational context we can actually do it. And we're also gonna take a look at too, um, as we get a little bit more advanced, is this Orb Basic app. Both these, MicroLab, and Orb Basic are free. And I really want to explore this because this has got some really cool features in regard to actually 
typing the code, having an output. Um, you can see a code there. If I press play there, with the, it's executing the program and you can see that my colors might be hard to see. Um, I'm changing my colors on my uh, robot there to the side. So that's something that we're definitely gonna have a look at, but for the next couple of lessons, we'll look at this macro lab and we'll definitely look at some different uh, educational contexts for actually doing our robot. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.